Okay, hi, so welcome back to Metal Gear. This is part three. Um, or should I call it like episode three? I feel like episode is easier to like refer to, like in the last episode. Yeah, so like I guess in the last episode we found out a lot of stuff. Um, so we found out that that ninja who cut off Ocelot's arm was actually Gray Fox, who um, if you recall, I had mentioned um, he's our friend, um, Snake's friend that he um, went on the rescue mission to rescue in Outer Heaven and then later on he fought against in Zanzibar and he killed him. But then some scientists at Foxhound brought him back um, in order to conduct genetic experiments on him and the soldiers that we're fighting now are kind of like genetically enhanced as a direct result of those experiments. Um, and Naomi knew about this. I guess she's the only one who knew about it and she didn't see fit to tell us. Um, I guess she has her own reasons. Um, should I call people? I think I've already called everyone I need to call. I'm, um, right, I'm looking for Meryl now. Um, so yeah, we t oh yeah, I need to call Otacon. Um, so we met Otacon. Oh shit, no, okay. really bad at pressing the right button in this game because the controls are still like Japanese style. Um, yeah, so we met Otacon who's uh, a really fun recurring character in Metal Gear. He is exactly what he sounds like. A nerd. You still haven't found Meryl? Snake, the Warhead storage building that you're in has one floor above ground and two floors below ground. Why don't you search there, too? Okay, thanks, Otacon. Um, yeah, and Otacon's a soldier, uh, not a soldier, he's a scientist who's been working on Metal Gear. And I guess he's just kind of stupid because he didn't realize that they were um, using it as a nuclear weapon. Oh, wait, I can't get through without. Um, and when you tell him when you break the news to him he's very sad and now he oh god I'm, I'm an idiot um is there any way out actually yeah there is um yeah so yeah um metal gear <laughs> fun times all around So now I need to go find Meryl to get the detonation key, or the, yeah, the detonation override keys from her so that we can try to stop Metal Gear. And she should be on the other floor of this building. There's another Easter egg here where if you walk into the bathroom quickly, you will find Meryl in her underwear. Um, but let's give her a moment because I don't know, I can do without that. Um, we're about to get into another cutscene here. Don't move! That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. You're Meryl? There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. 
You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back, when guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a man who's good at what he does. Killing. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life, no ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. So, there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. And what's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. So, Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear, or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too! I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down, I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today, but now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I wanna know who I am, what I'm capable of. I wanna know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where did you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol, too, but I chose this. Huh. So I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If we're gonna go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. A lot of the conversations in 
these games, maybe this game in particular, and I guess I would say this last cutscene is a great example. Oh, I had no idea there was a ration there. Um, a lot of them are like, what is the word? Like, they're just slightly weird. Um, That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? I mean, they're very weird, um, but there's just something about the way that like the characters hit on each other or like the weird things that they say where it's like, it's like somebody dancing to a song, but they're like, it's not exactly that they have no rhythm. It's like, they're like just a half beat behind all the time. Like there's just something like they're hitting all the right notes but like at the wrong time and that's kojima that's like that that's metal gear um like this is headcanon territory but i swear to god snake has like never had sex and he has just watched 1000 movies and like he has this idea in his head um of like what an action hero is supposed to say and that's why he says all these things that he says which is basically like how kojima writes snake i think so, um, that's how he comes across. My head! Oh, it hurts! What's wrong? Don't come here, Snake! Are you okay? Uh, uh. What happened? I'm fine. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Okay, um, slight spoilers here, but um, if you are the type of person who's like sensitive to this sort of thing, um, I'm just gonna say you might wanna skip um, the next minute or so of cutscene. I'll just write it in the description of the video so you can check if you want um, and skip ahead if you want um, because it's a little shady. Um, so here we go. Herself. Don't use your weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. Snake. I'm Psycho Mantis! 
That's right. This is no trick. It's true power. Huh. It's useless, I told you. I can read your every thought. Now, let me read your mind. No, perhaps I should say your past. You're a careless man, aren't you? And you're a poor warrior as well. He's making me based on traps. my gameplay. Still don't believe me? Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. If you were playing this on the PS1 and you had... Your memory is complete. If you had played any other games, he would tell you what games you had played at this point. Hmm. You have not said it often. You right. are somewhat reckless. Also right. I can read you like an open book. You still don't believe me? I will show you my psychokinetic power. Put your controller on the floor. Put it down as flat as you can. That's good. Now I will move your controller by the power of my will alone. And this is like a rumble pack trick. Man, he's so cool. What do you think now? Can you feel my power now? Definitely. A demonstration. It's over. Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm sure if you had played this in 1998, seeing Hideo in the corner of your screen would have been pretty shocking. Um, so what I'm going to do now is change my controller um, to controller slot two because he can read controller slot one because he's psychic. Wait. There. Okay. Here we go. I think he's screaming why because normally um, if your if your controller is not switched, um, he'll be able to duck at the last minute. Oh, was I standing there? Oh my God. It's really unattractive with the thermal goggles on, and I actually only figured this out um, by dying a couple times in this fight the other day. Um, that thermal goggles like make this fight easier because otherwise he's in invisible. Um, because as I think I mentioned before, I've never had thermal goggles in this game before. <laughs>
Stop! Meryl! This ship's not No! It cannot be! No! Colonel, your niece is going to be okay. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake, or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people. That doesn't mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. So... You used the other... I... I wasn't able to read the future. A strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. <laughs> Perhaps so. But I'll read your future. To get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base, you have to go through that hidden door. There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. The overland route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers, and use the tower's walkway. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the past, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. Oh, gross. And each mind that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish and atavistic desire to pass on one seed. It was enough to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We designed that way. And that's why there is war. But you... You are different. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth. And he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? 
I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> We are truly the same, you and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen through evil. You, Snake. You're just like the boss. No, you're worse. Compared to you, I'm not so bad. I read her mind as well. Meryl's? I saw you there. You have a large place in your heart. A large place? Yes, a large place. But I do not know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind. Before I die, I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. I'll open the door for you. If you want to find your future, go through that door. Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl? How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're gonna doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Never doubt yourself. Just let it make you stronger. Learn something from it. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? What? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering. What? What's the problem now? Oh, no, nothing. So, tell me, Snake. What's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone. Just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on. Let's go. He loves to get involved, though. He loves to hear about people's lives. I guess that's his problem. Um, make a few calls. It looks like Meryl's okay. Thanks, Snake. Snake, there's no time left. You've got to hurry up and get to the underground base. You should be able to go north from the commander's room. Psycho Mantis. What a pathetic man. He was born with all the right tools, but he never knew how to use them.
that conversation has a lot of weight after Metal Gear Solid 5, I think. I'm just saying. A psychic soldier. What a waste. I guess fighting was all he ever knew. Are you feeling sorry for him? Mantis had incredible power. Fantastic power. Maybe that power could have been used to make people happy. It's a sad thing when you see all that power being used just for war. Wolf, half husky. How do you know so much? I ride dog sleds. I'm a musher. I'll take point. Snake, you follow me. He rides dog sleds. He's a musher. This part is actually like the most difficult and frustrating part of the game for me. Um, I mean, it'll be okay, I think, but it's annoying. I just, I don't like killing dogs. <laughs> um, all right. Here we go. What's wrong? I thought you were good with dogs. Well, luckily, I um, knew where to go, so it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Um, I'm gonna go um, through the next cutscene, and then I'll cut this video off. This place is mine. I'll take point again. Stay back, okay? But the radar isn't working. And since we can't use the mine detector either... Leave it to me! What do you think? Pretty good, huh? How did you know where the mines were? It sounds weird, but when Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. Are you impressed? Well, a little bit. Only a little? So, we could painstakingly retrace her steps, or we 
can just do this. Meryl! What is it? Meryl, get down! Uh, Meryl! me they want. Even I know that. It's the oldest trick in the book. The sniper's using me for bait to lure you out. Damn. Shoot me, Snake. No. My gun. I can't reach it by myself. Don't move. I promised. I wouldn't slow you down. Still help. I want to help you. Quiet down. Save your strength. I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier. But war is ugly. There's nothing glamorous about it. Snake, please save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. Now get out of here! Meryl! Damn! Snake, it's a trap. A sniper's trick to lure you out. The sniper's waiting for you to go and help Meryl, so he can pick you off. Don't do it. it must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. Snipers usually work in pairs, but this one's alone, huh? I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. It doesn't matter to her. She's just watching and waiting for you to expose yourself. Maybe so, but Meryl can't hold out that long. Snake, can you see Wolf from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here and the tower. She must be on the second floor of the tower. If Wolf is in the communications tower, she can see you perfectly. It's the classic sniper's position. At that distance, you won't be able to hit her with a standard weapon either. You'll need a sniper rifle. Colonel, take it easy. I'm gonna save Meryl, no matter what it takes. Okay. Thanks. What's wrong, Naomi? Nothing. I'm just surprised you're willing to sacrifice yourself. You got the genes of a soldier, not a savior. You trying to say that I'm only interested in saving my own skin? I wouldn't go that far, but... I don't know what the hell my genes look like, and I don't care. I operate on instinct. Like an animal? I'm going to save Meryl. I don't need an excuse. Okay. And I'm not doing it for someone else, either. I'm gonna save Meryl for myself. Colonel, don't worry. Snake, thanks. I understand. I'm sorry. Sniper Wolf is Foxhound's best sharpshooter. Everyone knows that women have more patience than men, but Sniper Wolf can go for a whole week with no sleep, no food, her sights never straying from her target. And on top of that, she takes diazepam, so her hands never tremble. I got diazepam earlier, was it this year or last, last year, um, when I got LASIK, and all I could think about was Sniper Wolf. The most important tools you need to be a good sniper. Yeah, whatever, man. Otacon, have you ever seen a sniper rifle anywhere on this base? A sniper rifle? Meryl's been shot by an extremely good sniper. Sniper? A high-quality sniper rifle is the only way I can fight back. 
I, uh, I saw a PSG-1 in the armory in the second floor basement of the tank hangar. The second floor basement of the tank hangar? I have to go all the way back there? Well, yeah. What's wrong with you, Otacon? Uh, nothing. Otacon, where is there a sniper rifle? There's a PSG-1. Oh, never mind. I thought he was going to give us a different conversation. Um, so what's going to happen now is I'm going to go all the way back to the tank hangar, which is the first building that I um, was in, like, at the very beginning of the game. So it's kind of a long run, and then I have to pick up the... Oh, Jesus, Meryl's dying. Um, I have to Leave pick me. up the sniper rifle. <laughs> Jesus. And um, then... Um, and then come back and fight Sniper Wolf. And since it takes so long to run there and back and nothing really um, story relevant happens during that time, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this video and then the next time I cut back in, we're gonna be back here with the sniper rifle. Unless I, you know what? I'm gonna tack on that conversation at the end of this video. So I'm gonna cut this and then we're gonna we're going to hear that one little conversation with Otacon, and then we're going to end this video. Wait, actually, I lied. There's one other scene that I want you guys to see, which is this. Um, this. Bullshit. This is where we fought the tank, and um, someone's been having fun out here. Um, I like to think Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake has been having a lot of fun out here. Just planting mines for me. You know, because he's got nothing better to do. And every time I come through this minefield, um, from now on, the mines will just all be back, no matter how many times I pick them up. So, you know, someone's got a lot of time on his hands. Okay, so this is the sniper rifle. It's protected by lasers, so we're gonna want to put the thermal goggles back on and do our best not to hit this laser grid, which is really difficult given that I can only... Oh god! Pilot snake with the D-pad? Like, my ability to maneuver is not good. Oh, God. You got a PSG-1. You can use that against Sniper Wolf. Hurry up and save Meryl. What is it? Wolf, I... I just... Forget it. <laughs> that, that's all I wanted you to hear. I just wanted you to hear Otacom being emo. If you call him again... He just refuses to talk to you. <laughs> okay, um, that's it. So thanks for watching and um, we'll go up against Sniper Wolf next time.